Welcome to this general overview of practice management. So when you first log in, you'll be presented with the dashboard overview. So this is the screen we're on here. This just gives a general global overview of everything which has taken place inside practice management. Most of the work will be completed under workspace, practice and CRM. So jumping into workspace, first you'll have your list of clients. So in this section, you can actually create new clients individually by clicking this new client button in the top right hand corner. If we do this, and a key benefit of doing this, if they're a limited company, is that we actually have an API with Companies House. So if we click this search icon and type in a company name, let's say Test Limited, and search that, through the API, it will pull along all relevant and related contacts uh, by their names. So we all, have, all we have to do is scroll down to Test Limited, select them, it will auto fill their company registration number, and then all you have to do is fill in the rest of the details. Now, a big benefit of running it through the API this way is that when it comes to deadlines, we will actually have company accounts and confirmation statements pulled through automatically through the company's house API. Now, when it comes to refreshing this, you can either do this manually or it will actually also refresh on a regular basis itself. So you, know, you don't have to go in there and do it manually every single time. But jumping back to the client account, if we go into, for example, Jane Doe Limited, when you click into here, you'll have a series of options which you can go through. So this is essentially a CRM system to keep all of your data relating to your clients in one place. First of all, you have the timeline with your activities list. So if this was a real account, there would be a record of all the work that's taken place, any emails that have been sent out to this client, and they'll also have which user has done that work or sent across those emails, as well as the time and date. Next, you've got the notes section where you can leave as many notes or upload as many files as needed relating to those notes. An email section where it'll email out directly towards your client. SMS, so SMS is completely unlimited and free when you use practice management. It's all included in the same price. So you don't have to then later on go and buy another bundle of SMS to send out. And we also have a client request section. So the client request section is essentially a ticketing system. So you can create a user account for your client and with KPM, when you sign up, all user accounts will be completely unlimited and free. So you can have as many users as you like. So you can create user accounts for your clients. And then once that's, that's happened, you can either raise a ticket to them or they can also raise a ticket to you. All they have to do is log in on the website and they'll have ability to do that. Moving on, we've got the onboarding section. So in here, this is relating to onboarding and KYC. So as you see here, we have one onboarding step for letters of engagement. Now to do this, you'd go to the settings and you'd be able to set that up yourself. It's all completely bespoke. It's not pre-filled for you. Then you've also got a risk assessment. So in here, you can actually run a risk assessment with a set criteria. As you see here, we select yes or no, depending on uh, which will apply at any given time, and also apply a risk status or a risk level. Once that's completed, as you see here, it'll create a general risk level for you. For example, this one is low risk and you're not stuck with just the set of criteria that we've created for this risk assessment. Again, under the settings and risk assessment, you're able to create your own or add in any additional steps that you might require. Next, we've got compliance checks. So here we are linked with Verify, who are our partner for AML. So the benefit of using Verify through practice management is that it's actually cheaper. So for example, with Verify directly, it's six pounds plus VAT for an individual check. Whereas with practice management, it will be three pounds plus VAT. That's also true for the AML training section, which is also linked with Verify. So as you see here, it'll be 40 pounds plus VAT, whereas directly with Verify, it's 50 pounds plus VAT. Next, you've got the AML checklist. So this is all pre-populated for you, but again, you can go into the settings and add in any extra data that you require. And you just go through, toggle it on and off. You can click into the blue text and add in any notes as they apply. And we also have KYC documents. So in here, we have complete uh, unlimited document storage and it's all cloud-based. So all you need is an internet connection and you'll be able to log in to your practice management and you'll be able to go in here and collect any data required that's already been uploaded or upload anything you need inside practice management. You can use this to store all of your clients' data, all of the files that they've sent you across. And as I say, it's completely cloud-based as well. 
Then we've got workspace. So in here is where you can actually create deadlines for your clients. Now, a really good feature in here is if we click on add deadline, if we select a service that we've assigned out to our clients, we have this box here where it says recurring. If we tick this, it will then create a recurring deadline based on the frequency of that deadline. So for example, if it's payroll and that's being run monthly, it will create a monthly deadline for you. So you don't have to go in and recreate that every single time. Next, you've got the tasks section. So these tasks that you see here for payroll and bookkeeping are actually related to these deadlines themselves. And when you create a deadline, it will automatically create a task for you, although you can unclick that box if you don't want it. Uh, but in here, this is where you can track the progress of each individual task. So you can see here, these haven't been started. However, if we click into one of the payroll tasks, for example, we can assign this out to a different user. If you have uh, other accountants set up in practice management, they'll have an email notifying them that this task has been sent across to them. And then we also have a checklist down here, which you can tick and it will automatically update this progress bar to let you know how far in progress this specific task is. So for example, this one's now at 40%. And we can also select the priority level of this task. So we can make this one a high priority task. From here, we could also actually reassign this out to another user if we needed to. We also have a section here for description, which is also particularly useful if multiple people are doing multiple deadlines or multiple tasks uh, which you create. We also have a timeline here, so you can see the activities list again with a notes section and emails which will go directly out to your clients. File section is also included, so you can upload as many files relating to any deadlines or tasks that you have. And you can also record time under here as well, whether that's billable or non-billable. But jumping back to the client section, we also have under workspace, the record time section. So again, this will be mostly linked to the tasks. However, you can record time individually for any ad hoc tasks, invoices. So we do have under the settings section, the services we provide with the fees here, and we can click this box here to generate invoices automatically on a weekly or monthly basis, which I have set up here as monthly. So you can see we've got this invoice of 216 pounds, which is currently outstanding. We do have KPM pay integrated as well. KPM pay is similar to Stripe or Go Cardless. However, our fees are a little bit cheaper. You can see the full fee breakdown on our website, www.kpm.co.uk. And we do also have this KPM pay section as well. So KPM pay is similar to the likes of Go Cardless or Stripe. However, our fees are slightly cheaper so you can see our full price breakdown on our website, www.kpm.com for full details. And also under this action section, you can email out a payment link to your clients. Next, we've got documents. So this is for your general documents. And again, it's all completely unlimited for data storage. We have three folders inbuilt automatically. There's a client shared document folder, which if you create a client account for your, your customers, they'll be able to log in and view anything you add into this section. And they'll also be able to upload files, which will be viewable by you. And we also have two other sections here. So commercial internal docs and accountant internal docs. As the name suggests, this is only visible by your practice. Then we have signed documents. So signed documents is relating to CAPI scan. So this section is actually related to CapiSign. Now CapiSign is an e-signing tool, which we have, which is included for free in the price of practice management. It's a completely separate module, and you can send out multiple documents to your clients for their e-signature at once. Once anything is signed, it will appear under this section for you automatically with their signature and timestamps as well. And then lastly, under this section, we have letters. So this is for various letters, for example, proposal letters, letters of engagement, disengagement letters for limited and individuals as well. So in here, we do have pre-populated text which you can send out to your customers however that is customizable under the document template section of the settings area in that settings area you will also be able to uh... next we have the schedule section so under here you can schedule meetings with your clients by clicking new and then sending out the invite details this relates to all the details relating to this specific company we're looking at as well as any extra business details, social information, for example, the LinkedIn URLs, PAYE details, and also company directors. 
Now in this company directors section, we can actually create individuals. And then if we tick this box, it will also generate them in the self-assessment module as well. Then finally, we have the settings section inside the client account. So here you can add in any new contact information. And again, you can add as many contacts as you like. The services, we can add and assign here, uh, add and remove the services here, and also amend the fees as well as they apply. We can add discount or remove discount. Again, you've got the section here where you can generate invoices. And then you also have agent authorization, and we can create accounting periods for our customers in this section. So this is the client account. Now this is all local to one specific business. However, under the general workspace area at the top, we also have task deadline schedule, client requests, et cetera, in here as well. Now this is the exact same as what we've just looked at. However, it is all global. So this will relate to all customer accounts. We can change the settings here. So we can look at all statuses for deadlines or just due and overdue, submitted, due or overdue on their own. We can look at just certain uh, services themselves. So all of our self-assessment deadlines we've created. And we can also look at just individual clients as they apply. We can also change our viewpoints here. So if you'd rather see it by date, you can do that. And it's similar in the task section where we have a Kanban view, calendar view, and also by status as well. And the tasks follows pretty much the same as the deadlines. It's all completely global. So we can see all of the tasks that have been created for all of our accounts. We can set these so that we can look at only certain users tasks that are being created. So for example, we want to click into my one here, we can only see the tasks which are assigned to myself. Then we've got schedule, which works the same as in the client account, but again, this is all global. Client requests, so this is the ticketing system, which again is global, so we can see here all the tickets and we can see them by status, so we can see any that are open and any that are closed as well. Then we've got communication. So under here, this is where you can actually schedule SMS. So you can actually bulk send out SMS through this section to any of your clients, the same as emails as well. Then we've got the conversations tab. So in the conversations tab, you're able to link up your uh, Google email or Outlook, and you can two way sync this. So any emails you receive will be sent across to here with a forwarding rule and emails sent out, you can obviously CC in your own inbox as well. A benefit of using this section is that any emails that come in, if they aren't directly from the same email address as your client, you can actually link these emails to a specific client here, and then that would appear under the activities list in the client account. Then finally, there's just a general activities list here, which is similar to the one we looked at on the dashboard view. However, you can change this to 30 days as well. Then under practice, you have your team members, which you can add in. You can also record time here for any of your clients. We have a full list of all invoices that have been generated under this section. Well, there is a CAPI sign section here. However, as mentioned before, we do have a standalone module, which has extra functionalities, which I would recommend using instead of this feature. And then we've got a calendar view as well. So the calendar, again, as you can see here, you can set up with your Google office calendar. You can two-way sync that as well, so that it'll just create any meetings you've got in your office calendar um, or Google calendar, it will link up here and vice versa. And then finally, we have the CRM system. So again, you have a little dashboard view um, of everything that's happening inside the CRM, and this is all for new business sales. So you can create new connections, whether they're leads or prospects. Once you win that business over, you can convert them directly to a client account. When you do that, all that data will be pulled across to the workspace area, so you don't have to duplicate any work at any point. And there is also a communications tab here where you can send out SMS to all of your prospects or leads. And then the last section is reports. So under here, this is all the reports that you can run. So you can do these for deadlines, tasks, and also team activity, as well as everything else you can see here. And that's the main features of practice management. Now, if you do sign up, you will get free training included inside the price and also onboarding if you're a new customer as well.